Welcome to Armor Modeling and Forecast Tutorial. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use NumXL to construct and calibrate an Armor model. We'll also project a forecast. For our example, we'll be using the following time series. The Corellogram plot exhibits a significant autocorrelation in the series, so an Armor model would be appropriate. The partial autocorrelation plot shows a significant correlation at lag order 1, so the autoregressive component order is assumed to be 1. The autocorrelation function plot has a significant correlation at lag order 1 and exhibits a cyclical pattern. Let's assume the moving average component order is 1 for this example. Select the cell at D37 and click on the ARMA icon in the NumXL toolbar. The ARMA modeling dialog pops up. For input data, select the cell range in column B. Let's leave the autoregressive and moving average order at 1, just like we've decided during our Corellogram analysis. For the armor output option, let's leave the guess parameters, goodness of fit, and residual diagnosis options checked, which is done by default. The armor model dialog will include a goodness of fit and residual diagnosis sections in our output table. For output range, the selected cell is the default. Click OK. The ARMA model table is displayed in your worksheet. On the left, you can see the model parameters. In the center is the goodness of fit, and on the right is the residuals diagnosis. Please note the model's coefficients values are not optimal, but rather initialized with a quick guess. Now select the cell at the top of the ARMA model, and click on the calibration icon in the NumXL toolbar. The Excel solver will pop up with all its values preset. Note that we are trying to maximize the log likelihood function by changing the model's parameters values while keeping it stable. Click on Solve Now. When the solver finds a solution, click OK. The model is now calibrated. Let's examine the residuals diagnosis. The standardized residuals look like a Gaussian noise, not an arch effect. Again, select the cell at the top of the model table and click on Forecast. The forecasting dialog box pops up. For input data, select a few cells from the end of the time series set. For Armor 1-1, we need at least one observation. Next, let's change the number of steps for which to compute a forecast. Select 12. For output range, select an empty cell in your worksheet. Then click OK. The forecast table is generated. Now I'll create a plot to show the forecast with its confidence interval over the forecast horizon. The forecast value starts low but converges to its long run mean. The confidence interval length increases with each forecast step to its long run value. That is it for now. Thank you for watching.